we we're gonna do it right here. Are even though, even though questions? that dog, like, that dog. Do like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna interview, okay. but uh, try and see if this dog, if this dog, gonna, if this dog uh, gonna quit barking. Um, <laughs> but anyway, how y'all doing? I'm doing okay. All right, all right. Um, y'all a couple? Yes. How long y'all been together? Five years. Five years. I'm a six year. Huh? I'm on six. I'm on six. That's what. October will be six. What's your name? Allie. Allie. Yep. How old are you, Allie? I'm 43. Where you from? Um, I'm from DC area. DC area. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Michael. I'm How old are you, Michael? I'm 49, and I'm from Baltimore. Both of y'all from up by, by the uh by DC area. Mm -hmm. Both yep. of y'all. Yep. I was. I was, you said, I was raised in. The I'm closer to DC. He you raised in the country. Baltimore. Yes, yeah, since I was two. <laughs> okay, since you're two, you said you said Michael and again. Allie. I, I go by Allie Cat. Allie Cat and Michael. I'm gonna get to know y'all more. On, on separate videos, I'm gonna do one by yourself. Then we're gonna do one with him by yourself. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you more about your childhood and all that stuff, going more detail mm -hmm. in the next in, in the next interview. Okay. But but you can give me a little brief um, synopsis on on how you grew up. Um, how we grew up. How, no, uh, first, uh, yeah, <laughs> watch your mic. What would you say overall? How was your childhood? Nah, it was it was great. It was great. Yeah, I was raised in the country. Um, I got to do all kinds of shit. You early, finished school? Early, yeah. I got I got two degrees. Okay, two degrees. Mike with two degrees. Good childhood. And Allie Cat, let's get let's get you. Um, I was raised by my mother and my stepfather. Uh -huh. um, I didn't meet my biological father until I was 32 when he was dying of cancer. Right. Um, and I got my GED in prison. Okay, got your GED in prison. See, we're gonna I'm gonna get both of y'all story. I had a scholarship um, to the University of Maryland coming out of middle school. Oh yeah. But I lost it. Um, I I dropped out. I was pregnant and um, so. Took me um, quite a few years to end up getting my GED when I went to prison. Okay. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it a lot. Um, I'm gonna get your whole complete story on the next interview right when we finish this. So just, just, just hold, hold, hold those thoughts. Hey, so um, y'all been together five years, huh? Um, I want to talk about why y'all out here on the street. Um, y'all have addictions. Yeah. What's your addiction, Mike? Everything. Everything. Oh, you all around the board. Okay. Yep. What, what about you? I was clean off of um, heroin for 14 years, but um, when he was in jail last time, I picked it back up again. So like everything is my, my addiction, but um, unfortunately I picked up heroin again too. So right now heroin is, is, is the drug that you have to have. Yes, the That's problem. That's the one that you have to have. So um, you stuck with Mike when he was locked up. Is um, that, is I, that I what started, you just said? No, I started using heroin again when he was locked up, but um, we, we've always used drugs together. But what I'm saying is that you stuck by his side when he was yeah. incarcerated. Yeah, he's Did been he, incarcerated twice. And, so. and you were with him before he went and when he came home? Yeah. Y'all had these, these addictions before he went and when he came home. Yes. All right, Mike. What you go to jail for? Uh, a little bit of everything. Um, late, late was it drug related? Huh? Was, 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 it, was, was, it, was, it, was it a consequence uh, behind your drug your drug addiction? I mean, it's a result of it. That's what I'm saying. I got to pay for it, so I was like stealing cars and stuff like that. Okay. I, I didn't like stealing from Walmart and things like that. Cause yeah. I like to do the big more things. So. You want you want things that are worth, worth a little bit more money <laughs> than the clothes and hygiene. That's what most of these guys out here want to sell hygiene and, clothes, and, and Walmart clothes. Flatbed trailers. It takes too long. <laughs> Flatbed trailers, trucks, lawnmowers, generators, right. whatever. How much time you do? How much time? He did a year. He did almost a year on yeah, the I mean, first I, I was in jail. I've been in jail for about a year. I've been in about okay. two, two years. So how long have you been home? Uh, it's been two years. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not getting in trouble anymore. But. Right. You've been home two years. Okay. Okay. Um, you said you went to prison? Yeah, I went to prison. What'd you go to prison for? I went to prison for bringing Xanax into the detention center that I was being um, incarcerated in. Right, so you had somebody, okay. No, I brought him in with me. Okay. You, 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 and I got in trouble for selling him in the detention center. So oh, okay. Where I was only locked up for child support. Um, mm -hmm. And I would have got paid a purge and got back out. Right. I ended up doing two years in DOC. So you went, you went to jail for uh, a child support was your original charge. Mm -hmm. And while you're in there, you call it a drug charge for smuggling the pills in there. Yeah. And that's when they sent you to prison. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been home? Um, that happened in 2008. Okay, you've been home, uh, yeah. what's that, yeah. about 16 years now, ain't it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I can't count that good. I mean, I've I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a C minus student. I've been to jail a few times, you know, in, in the middle of right. like, since then, but like that was the prison site. I was in there for two years. Okay, um, so when y'all met, was y'all already addicted to drugs? So how y'all meet? I had a four bedroom house in Brown Summit, which isn't too far from Greensboro. It's right at, um, outside Reedsville. Mm -hmm. And he answered a um, a roommate at um, Craigslist. on Craigslist. I just got out of rehab. Craigslist, what's, the, what's your mind, like 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 a working girl uh, Craigslist? No, it was uh, for a roommate. 
for roommates. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, mean, so I was roommate. working. I was working then, but um, he had answered because I had four rooms, so I had I rented some of the rooms out. Okay. And I just got out of rehab, and I was I was leaving where I was from to get away from there, so I came down here. Because um, Greensboro's got a lot of a aviation. And, um, Can you say it close to him? Yeah. I, I got to get close to Mike because he talks so low. He does. Yeah, sorry. Um, I work on aircraft too. And uh -huh. so Greensboro's got a lot of it. So that's why I came here. So you came here for uh, for, for job opportunities? Yeah. Look at the better yourself. I was trying to start over. And, and, start over. And not, yeah, but. But, but uh, just, your, just your luck. You chose to go to the roommate with somebody you didn't know and just so happened, they bam, got the same addiction. It just, it's just the way it is. And then y'all click right off the bat. Not, not quite. No. <laughs> What uh, happened? No, we, I didn't. I couldn't stand her when I first met her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bossy, a little high. high oh, you? I guess, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah you're all tallest. You're taller than Mike, too. Mike, how tall are you? Five, about 5'9? Five, yeah, 5'9. Five, what are you, about five six eleven, feet? 5'11. I'm a giant slayer. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, you're, uh, yeah you, you're a giant slayer, huh? Yeah, she about six feet. And then she, she said she was kind of bossy, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. What she was saying? Hey, yo, you got to clean up the room. Was, you can't I, pick this over here. You got to have this right here. I'm to do the dishes, actually. Oh, that. <laughs> and he was drinking that night and he got smart with me and a little fight. You know, he's, they were not my, they're not her, his uh, dishes, he said. She had her entourage at her, at her back. Okay, she had, she had a whole crew. Yeah, yeah that's, how, that's, how, that's how it is. That's, that's when people get mad when they, got, when they got a whole crew with them. So, so she was like, get the fuck out. And I was like, well, just give me my rent money back. And then I went and smithed it on crack with her friend and stayed with a friend. There for about a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I had moved to from Greensboro to Atlantic Beach and everything. Hurricane Florence came. I had gotten a, um, a notion for a trailer of their um, sound side, and Hurricane Florence came and took it all away. I was, I was, it was Dang. really nice. I moved up there, had nothing when I moved there, got a job. I get a disability check, plus I got a job at a diner up there, mm -hmm. and I ended up getting an oceanfront trailer. and. I had it for about two weeks, and Hurricane Florence came and took it. I mean, it was gone. Right. And it was gone so fast. You have insurance on it? No, I was just renting it. Oh, you I just, just renting it? from somebody. Okay. Yep. Dang. So, yeah. so that forced you to move back here? I, I ended up in Jacksonville, which is, um, was, the hurricane had hit there too, but right. um, there was some hotels that needed help, so mm -hmm. I did some work out, out there, and I was with uh, another guy at the time, and um, he went back to jail for um, some other stuff, and I ended up back in Greensboro, and I was only here for two nights, and him and a friend came and knocked on my door and was like, hey, let's go get high. We've been together ever since then. <laughs> okay, so 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 when y'all when y'all first decided to be cool, it was it was drug related. Yeah, well, I'm saying y'all got high, y'all got high together. Y'all party, have good have a good time. Y'all we had sex I, that I, night. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. I mean, it was like awkward and like so like. <laughs> so, yeah, but both know. of us separately were thinking like we don't want to leave it like that. We don't think that like that's how we uh, that's how we fucking shit. So like. We yeah. ended up staying together after that. Like, right. After that. So yeah, um, as, as, it, as it turned out, she needed a place to stay. Okay. So, yeah. so the shoes so were on the other foot. Staying, so she ended up staying with me. Okay. The shoes were on the other foot real fast. And it was. It was. Was, you, was you bossy like her? And I was actually working at the time. Did you, did you make her wash the dishes? No, no, but I was like, no, but I was like on her ass. I was like, don't touch anything, don't walk, don't breathe, don't. Yeah. She's like walking around all tall, like half, like naked, like a whatever. And yeah. Like we're around country people, kind of, and it's like. Yeah, we were in Reedsville. She's like sticking out there. like crazy. Yeah. And I know all about Reedsville. Like, and he's only supposed I, to have I'm one person supposed to be, with single occupancy rooms. Yeah, I'm not, not supposed to have in. anybody there, and like. I don't blend in very well. <laughs> right. So I'm just. Why are you tall? Yeah, I'm tall and I like long legs, and so people mm -hmm. looking and he's. <laughs> Landlord so ended up like you know finding out. I'm trying to not have people look. So y'all y'all have any kids? Not together. We have separate. No, I'm saying separate. I have four kids. Um, I have two um two boys and two girls. What about you, Mark? I got a 18 year old son and I have a 29 year old uh, stepdaughter. Okay, both most of y'all kids fairly grown. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask y'all something. Um, y'all met when y'all already had addictions. Uh, first night y'all had sex. Yeah, we're also both getting smoke. out of a divorce. Yeah, both of y'all getting a divorce. Um, let me ask you something. How, how, how are y'all able to stay together when there's drugs and, and addictions involved? Because I saw a lot of times drugs tear people apart. Not lying about the drugs. We we um, we both came from the same situation of where like the, <laughs> that's what caused our divorces, mm -hmm. and uh, so we just let it all hang out with each other as far as like what, on the what we do. Yeah, and, and just. Uh, like we both pretty much said that like we put drugs between us and the drugs win and so we just, that's what we've kept up front. And, and luckily we both like to like really party so and that really helps. Right, okay. <laughs> so um okay, so y'all put like everything it's very, out. It's very rarely that drugs is a problem between us really. Right, okay, yeah. It's so, not one of our fights usually. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you something. 
a lot of times when two people, two addicts become in a relationship, sometimes one of them get tired of being on the street. One of them get tired of using, right. and the other one may not be. That's what happened to both of us. If we got, that's how we got divorced, pretty much. Which one, with your past people? Yeah. yeah. Like, they, 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 the they, they, they were hide, tired. Hide, hide, until it blows up and you can't hide it anymore. Yeah. And, you know, I was, that, a, I was that an alcoholic and, and other things. And uh, my ex wife, she decided to quit all that stuff. And uh, She decided to quit? I, yeah, and I was supposed to too. But it, was, but it just didn't work out. So, in y'all relationship, have, has, has uh, either one of y'all feel like y'all needed to quit and the other one wasn't ready? No. Y'all just been having fun the whole time? We get tired of the oh, situations yeah, yeah. that we're in, like presently, like the people that we're around or whatever, and we'll take ourselves out of that situation. Right. And, um, you know, go stay somewhere else or just, you know, just completely just don't don't hang out with those people anymore. Like, because they, people don't like to see two people together. They mm -hmm. don't like to see two people happy. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll just take ourselves from the situation and, and go somewhere else for a while. Like, Winston-Salem, I mean, we, we, we fight just a lot, don't we, we lived wrong. in Winston-Salem right, for the past right. year. We do fight a lot. We yeah. used to. We don't want to fight a lot lately. Though. We just don't fight about the drugs. <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, what's y'all housing situation? Um, y'all homeless? Y'all got somewhere to stay or what? We, we, was, we were homeless for like four or four years. Mm -hmm. that, three or four that, years? That, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that apartment, we, we got thrown out of. So, out of the five years y'all been together, y'all been homeless it, for four, four out of five? And then, and then COVID came. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And we tried a couple of different things, like going back to my home and like, just, uh, like there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on that stuff so 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 so, so um, you say you got a fit now and a crack addiction both y'all you, well, you say you say you do everything, everything so my thing yeah. my thing I, is so, so my, say, I I everything, yeah. huh it's all around board so my thing is um if you're homeless that means you ain't got much money so my thing is what are y'all doing to, to support your habit I get a disability check so we get that every month get, every month I get a disability check and, um, you, and, and you was homeless with get a disability check yeah yeah because well, drugs are more expensive than a disability check. Hotels are way more than a disability check, so that doesn't touch even any, anything oh, to do with Oh, okay. I thought people package. get like $1,000 a month or more. I get 1200 I get $1,200. Right. That's it. Not, yeah. Like, that's it. So I try to take care of, like, the bills, like the phone, the phone, like um, anything like that. We. I can live off $1,200 a month. You think so? Yes. And have a drug addiction? No. <laughs> but, I, but I would pick my, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would take the 1200 yeah. And pay, give me a little one bedroom, pay seven, eight hundred dollars a month no, with you, that cell yeah, phone, that, and, totally, then, and, then I, and then and then and then I'm gonna always be a hustler. No, you totally to could support have. myself. You could if you didn't have a drug addiction. Yeah. No, I, I could with a drug addiction because yeah. I would pay I would pay that bill. Now I would always be able to, to hustle right. if I needed to to, to get well, high. Mostly what we've one, done throughout the, happen, throughout the past couple of years, we, we'll rent rooms somewhere. But there's always somebody stealing or somebody. Uh, there's there's so okay. much drama going on that we don't end up saying, and we, we'll leave before rents even do. Like, I get just it. leave out. Like, we don't want to yeah. be there no more. <laughs> the environment. So, what about you? She, she brings twelve hundred dollars to the table. What about you, uh, Mike? That's why I was stealing like cars. And, 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 I'm talking about now. Like, I ain't talking about back in the day. Now, now. How, how you bringing money to the table now? Um, actually, I just got a job today. No, I, I, today you got a job. How have, how have, how have, how have you brought money to the table? He the last, hustle, he, he hustles up his I mean, I'm, I'm asking for Mike. Cause right. see, one thing about these women in the relationship, they always take up for the man, even if the man ain't bringing that to the table. Like they, they go, the woman gonna take up for him because they don't want to make it look bad. And you know, a lot of times the woman go out there and find a hustle. Even she gotta sell herself to bring stuff to the table. That's how I go. I, I've been doing these interviews, so you can't. That's it's not, one thing like I did before I met him. What? But that's one thing that uh, where I, I've, I've been on um, the escort sites and stuff. What? But since I've been with him, that's not been an option for me at all. Yeah, like, yeah, I, not, I get, yeah, I get that. I just wanna know what might what might right. do bring something to the table. Whatever I can, like that. Okay. Stealing copper. Um, uh, okay. Like, I'll stealing copper. I, I, get help, like that. I get help from family every once in a while too, though. And all right. I had a family that was they were. So what keep you from getting a job? Huh? Get your ID. Get being in trouble and, and drugs. Mm -hmm. Man, I know, I know people that, that was on death row got a job. I, I know people that got a hundred well, felonies got a job. Background checks now. That, 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 that's been an excuse for like the last fifty years. That. They, they look, they, they need help right now. You, and then you can go down to the labor finders that work every day for $50 a day. I'm on a couple of the apps where like uh, you do warehouse work, you uh -huh. bid on the warehouse work, work, and then you go work for them for a day and you get paid the next they day. They won't take me. But right now, I'm gonna I'm I'm edit that shit out, yeah, Mike. that's fine, yeah. Um, hey Mike, so um, let me ask y'all something. Talk about some of the damage and consequences um, behind um, the drug addiction. Talk about some of the things that y'all, talk about the, 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 the bad thing that's, that has happened Due to your um, addiction, uh, uh, I know for me and her, like um, relationships with our children, uh, right, is a big thing for me. It's right, a big thing, um, and that's important too. Yeah, it's important to me. But, um, 
I, I don't I don't talk to my kids as much as I should. Right. So. Um, what, what, what about you? What's the biggest? You about to cry when you heard that, huh? Yeah, I, I would too, man. Cause you know them, them kids. Sometimes we need to call them and we forget. Right. My um, my oldest daughter, I don't even talk to like two of my kids. Won't even talk to you me. While I'm still on drugs. Girl, she ain't faking, y'all. She crying for real. Nah, she ain't yeah, she's crying for real, and, and, and I see why. God love my child to death, man. And then if, if someone was to tell me, tell me away from my child, a lot of times people use drugs to escape the reality of the whole situation. But sometimes when you sit back and think about it, it brings tears to your eyes, just like that. Cause them, them kids, man, they're blessing me. That's that's what keep me out of trouble. That's why I'm making these videos. Yeah, so my kids, so, so, my, so my kids ain't gotta go through what I went through. Her, her story behind it too is pretty fucking. It's, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get her story in three minutes it's, by herself. It's, it's yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get her story. So y'all stay, t make sure y'all stay tuned because I'm going to interview her and then I'm going to interview him by himself. Um, so outside of, of the kids' relationship, is there anything else that the, the addiction that cost y'all? You cost your prison, you cost your home, really isn't does, it? Like your cost home, you your, your relationship with your family, your kids, your, I mean, even society looks at you differently because if you carry a book bag, you got everything you need in your would make the, yeah. The, even people in stores, they look at you. They, you know, you're homeless, you finish the something. They know you're homeless. They just, they just know. Right. I get that too. Um, I get that too. So how, how y'all able to stay clean? Cause y'all don't look, you don't look homeless. We've had an apartment for the past year in Winston Salem. So y'all got, y'all got an apartment now. Yeah. I said y'all start. I mean, well, I mean, y'all, y'all well, ain't <laughs> well, homeless no more. The we, lease is up. <laughs> yeah. We gotta find another one before but we get. We, we, we bought, um, we bought a couple acres out in Arkansas. And I'm good. I can. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to build a house out there. So. We have land. Arkansas? Now. We have land, but we have no. Yeah, Arkansas got all the motherfucking meth pills, uh, uh, fentanyl pills out there in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Three dollars, and you get you get. I'm the, from around West Virginia and all that shit, man. So like that's. Yeah, but Arkansas got got them, but they super cheap. It's Good. easy. It's easy to overdose in Arkansas. Right. Six dollars, your ass be dead. Hey, we picked the right spot. <laughs> I think we so. picked the right spot. <laughs> Six dollars, your ass be dead. I thought. We just we just came back from uh, Louisiana um, a couple days ago, and. Uh, we ended up having to get somebody to overnight us some shit from up here to down there because it wasn't, we were not, it, we weren't staying well down there with the shit that they had Damn. down there. <laughs> That's great. They we, we do, we do a lot of, we do a lot of drugs too, actually. Where, where, yeah. When we first got together, people say like, to him, they'd say like, she does a lot of drugs. Are you sure you're going to be with her? And, and then they said the same thing to me separately, you know, trying to like, you know, split Listen, it, it, um, I'm not saying that you're lying, but it's. It's hard to believe, but but it could be the truth. So you telling me before you, before you got with him, you, you sold yourself before to make to, to get the support you have it. And five years been with him, you ain't never he he ain't never gave you the green light to do it. No, he's never asked. He's never never been like, okay, we have nothing. So go. And you ain't never went to the side and did the option. None of that. Oh, that's I did. good. When he was in jail, I had to. Right. Because I had no extra support. But and when I'll, he's been I'll home with me, never. That, so. That's right. It's never well, been I hope you don't steal like, no cars, and I hope, I hope she don't have to sell herself. I just got to ask the good questions. That's what make my channel so good. I'm, no, I'm going to keep it real right and uncut. That's a, that's a deal breaker, man. It's, it's deal breaker? It's deal breaker. Well, hey, a lot of times it might be a deal breaker, but the man going to have to provide him. Want to, I'm going to tell you something. Because a lot of times people have unrealistic expectations. I don't feel like he would really love uh, uh, me uh, if he would want to share me, though. A lot of times people have unrealistic expectations. What I mean by that is a man uh, 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 introduce a woman or even she got addiction, and she might, he might, he might, he might um, have fun with her and 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 and, and condone ten different addictions, mm -hmm. knowing that ain't, ain't neither one y'all. You might got no job, mm -hmm. and knowing what these drugs would do to a female, mm -hmm. it's harder on a female than it is a male out here on these streets when she homeless. Mm -hmm. Men, we can, I can, I can sleep right there on that seat, man, and be okay. Women can't do what we, what men do. They like to think they can, but they really can't. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, a man, I say, hey. Take all these 10 different kind of drugs, but you better not never sell yourself as a deal breaker, but he can't provide the lifestyle to keep her addiction yeah. up. So it's, to me, it's like, man, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like a, a you're damn if you do, you're damn if you don't. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you can't keep a woman addiction up, you can't expect her not to, man, shit, people do anything for drugs. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'll make you steal a car, it'll make you sell yourself, it'll make you do any kind. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, I mean, if, if he, if, if, if it's a deal breaker, then I, I, I want you to get clean and get your woman clean because eventually, you're going down here. It's hard to come back up. You may have all 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 these, all these boundaries right now. The drugs will take the motherfucking boundaries. Drugs will take your boundaries and throw them in a the trash can. I'm just, I'm just being. I ain't gonna preach to you, but I'm just keeping 100. But anyway, um, it was an honor talking to y'all. I'm about to interview y'all one at a time. So, so for my viewers, if y'all want to get to know these uh, this, this this beautiful couple, Magic Mike, 
and uh, what you say your name Alley was? Cat. Alley Cat. Magic Mike Alley Cat. We, 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 stay tuned, man. God bless y'all. Got something for y'all.